Kara Menzel and Adina Menzel let fans in on their special bond five years ago when they wrote Voice Lessons, a sister's story. Now in their new children's book, Loud Mouse, they are showing the bond between two other sisters, this time the four-legged kind. And we are so excited to catch up with them now. Welcome back, ladies. Good to see you. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having us. Oh, of course. It's so nice to have you both. I mean, clearly you work well together. This is not your first time Aww. working together, obviously. But is, is a children's book something that you always wanted to write, Kara? You know, I think I should have, but no, I wasn't even thinking. I wasn't even thinking that until Dee mentioned it, and then I was like, oh yeah, duh. Of course. Yeah, of course we should do that. I yeah. went, I came to her and I said, I want to write a children's book. I don't, um, I haven't wanted to do, I don't want to do it without you. She's the teacher, oh. the author. Yeah. She was a specialist for literacy with her kids, and I feel like she gives it the integrity that it needs. And um, we wanted to explore a lot of themes that we experienced when we were kids. Yeah. Um, this first book is about, because there's a second. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, about when I was a little girl and, um, you know, obviously had this voice and um, felt like deep down inside I knew that it was something that I should share, but sometimes I was kind of conflicted about, you know, how much space to take out, to take up and, oh, yeah. um, you know, so it, it's kind of exploring those themes. Yeah, I love that. And, and, you know, the illustrations are so adorable in the book, too. So did you guys kind of have an idea going in of what you wanted these illustrations to look like? Yes, yeah. we love the aesthetic of there being lots of details to look yeah. at. You know, and every time, time you moms, read it. Sorry, we talk over each other. Every time you read it. Every time you read it. Especially with children's books, you end up reading them so many times. Uh, yes. So it's too. always great when you're like, oh, I never noticed that. Yeah. The, the horse is wearing a unicorn headband, you know? Yeah. Or, yeah. Um, so we, Our horse does wear a unicorn Oh, really? Yes. Um, yes. But um, I love that the tail is the microphone. The tail is very the microphone. cute. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. when you're a kid, you use whatever you have it's as a microphone. A hairbrush, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And we have a song that um, we wrote that accompanies the book because I see everything through, through that music. lens, yeah. honestly. Mm -hmm. And we're building this world. And um, and we have this refrain, which Kara actually thought being a teacher, kids that can't read yet um, glom onto something. Yeah. More rep repetitive. It's always nice when there's something repetitive so that yeah. if you can't read the text yet, you feel like you're reading every time the refrain comes up. And it's also engaging. And yeah. singing is always a great sort of gateway to reading. Yeah, you and know, let me tell you, it's a catchy song. I love this Thank song. You. I was listening to the mo this morning and I was like, this is such a cute well, song. Well, it's my mission to write and perform songs that will get in your ears and um, <laughs> yeah, in your heart leave. and never leave you. Yeah. <laughs> let me ask you, what's the process like for you then to, for writing a song compared Compared to writing a book. Oh my gosh! I mean, there, a lot of it's the same. It's the Similar, creative right? process. Yeah, they yeah. were sort of inter interwoven. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, well, Kara, you know, as she mentioned that you are a teacher, you're an educator, uh, you're a, a writer as well. What do you hope that kids take away from reading this book? Oh, we hope that there's multiple levels. So as they grow up and develop, they have a different experience with the text. But the primary one is, you know, sometimes you're, sometimes you got to be big yeah. and bold and you. loud and to be your best self. Yeah. And you know, that can I also like when you say, you know, like we say that stars would never choose not to shine, you know? Yeah. And it's like our job as human beings, kids and grown ups, mm -hmm. it's our job to share what we, our gifts with the world. Yeah. yeah. And as an NBC uh, employee, I would, I love the part where you say you would never tell a peacock not to be proud. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that stuck right. out for oh, me. Right. Yeah. Um, well, every, I have to mention the couple projects you've got coming up, I, or one project in particular. I, we we're all very excited about Disenchanted. Um, we yeah, were, we had just announced it the other day, and I couldn't believe that it was 15 years since the since Enchanted came out. I know. Out. We look okay. Yeah. <laughs> when you guys came back together, was it just like a big reunion? Yeah, it was a reunion in Ireland. Oh, um, nice. And it was so much fun. Yeah. And also, they gave me this incredible song, Stephen Schwartz, um, who wrote my Wicked songs and Alan Menken of Disney, yeah. you know, legacy. Yeah. Um, they wrote me this incredible song, and it comes up in a beautiful moment in the film. I'm really just grateful to them for that. Oh, I, I heard it yesterday. That. I can you attest did. to how beautiful it is. And have you both seen the whole film? Um, I haven't seen the whole thing yet. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to watch myself. So oh, you, you're Although one of those. I am, you don't like a, to watch. I'm, I'm in a wig and a corset. So it's like somebody so, else. You know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Great things. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love a good bang, a yeah. strong bang. It changes a whole look. Yeah. All right, well, I'm very excited about it. Uh, and, and this book is so cute, too. You all should get it. It's called Get Loud, or Loud Mouse. Uh, it's out everywhere now, along with we the song. We want you to get loud. Yeah, yeah. get loud. And we're, 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 we're at Barnes & Noble, uh, Union, oh, Square. Union Square, tomorrow. Oh, great. Come see yes. them in person yeah. at, in uh, Union Square at Barnes & Noble. Um, and the song is available on all platforms. So if you want to come and meet them, like we just said, uh, it's going to be at 2 p.m. at Barnes & Noble, Union Square. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Congrats on everything. Thank you.